Welcome back to the channel and to another new episode of Five Things You Might Not Know. This, as always, is the 101. This one, this episode, number 28. But if you've missed any of the previous episodes, check them out in the series playlist. Link on the screen. And here we go once again, this time episode 28 of Five Things You Might Not Know About WWE 2K18. Up first today, we have got a Cool Moves combo for Drew McIntyre. So we all know Drew is a DLC superstar this year, and you also likely know he has got a headbutt as one of his signatures, and the Future Shock DDT as one of his finishers. But what you might not know is that these moves can be done back to back via a glitchy but pretty handy combo. For this one, all you do is spam the signature and finisher button once you've got a signature. And once the headbutt has connected, and despite the opponent not appearing to be in the correct position, you will then follow up with the Future Shock DDT. Again, a little glitchy, but a pretty handy combo that could take your opponent a little off guard. Next up with thing number two, we have got some unique audio that you might not know about. Now as we know, this year's game features three types of Royal Rumbles, a 10 man, a 20 man and of course a 30 man. And it's fair to say that the traditional 30 man is likely the most used and go to option, with the 10 being handy for something a little more quicker. With the middle option, the 20 man likely being the least used of the bunch. But what you might not know is that when using a 20 man Royal Rumble, you'll get to hear some unique lines of commentary. This references the very first Royal Rumble, which was a 20-man Rumble that took place in 1988, and also references its winner, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, who of course isn't featured on this year's roster. And guys, let's not forget that the first televised Royal Rumble match from back in 1988 also featured 20 superstars. Of course, in the end, it was Hacksaw Jim Duggan last eliminating one-man gang for the win. With thing number three, we are once again covering this year's new carry system and yet another awesome combo that you might not be aware of. So long term viewers of the series will know that we've covered a bunch of ways previously, including the recently covered bonus car moves and even catching rumble finishers. And adding to that list today, we have now got catching chamber moves. So this works the same way as normal in that your superstar can catch your opponent via the reversal of a move such as a Harakurana, only this time from the top of the chamber pod. Once caught, walk your opponent to the ropes and you can then transition into this very awesome chamber powerbomb, which differs slightly from its regular version. Moving on, we're thing number four, and we are sticking with the carry system moves. And this time, how this can create an awesome combination for Seth Rollins. Now, we all know how awesome the Seth Rollins buckle bomb can be. And we also know that this year, this was added as a carry system ability. But what you still might not know is that this also works as yet another bonus catching finisher combination. So once again, for this one, you simply reverse a move such as a Harakurana then go straight into the powerbomb the way you normally would with this system. As you can see, this makes for yet another awesome combination and a very badass buckle bomb out of nowhere for Seth Rollins. But last up today with our fifth and final inclusion, we have now got another bonus car move that you still might not know about. Now we all know how awesome the new car moves can be, whether that beat the car finishers, or even the carry system car moves as covered previously. But another move that you still might not know about is the ability to use the car door as a weapon. So for this one, nice and simple, all you do is drag your opponent to the door of a regular car, lead them against it, and then do a grapple. As you can see, this then gives you this pretty awesome unlisted move that sees the car door used as a weapon, which even comes complete with its own unique reversal animation.
All in all, more of a smaller thing, but nonetheless, and on this is our bonus car move, that definitely might come in handy. And there we go with that one, another episode done and dusted, which finishes up episode number 28. As always, let me know in the comments if any of today's feature of five things were new for you. And if you enjoyed today's episode, then a like rating would be awesome to see. Stay tuned to the channel for another new episode in the series coming very, very soon. And with that said, until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.